Hello from a truck stop north of Flagstaff and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be talking about using the climate control for a different reason, air quality. So last night I spent the night on public lands north of Flagstaff and there are some fires in the area. So as a result, the air quality was not the greatest. So I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. Uh, once I was parked, I cracked all four windows a bit and just settled in for the night with the vehicle off. And it was going good for a little bit until I got a surprise. I heard a flapping sound and you might guess what that is. It was a large moth. So I'll put up a picture here because I did not snap one because it was kind of freaked me out. And I did get it out of the vehicle safe without harming it. I believe it was a black witch moth if we look at the pictures here. Not 100% sure on that, but it was big. And uh, anyway, I thought, all right, that's what I get for leaving the windows open sometimes. So aside from the moth issue, there was a bit of a smoky smell in the air, I must say. And it started to get to me after a while. So I thought, all right, I'm going to fire up the climate control. And once I did, really made for a nicer evening. So as usual for the climate control, I have it set on recirculate. So it takes the air inside and filters it. And I must say it did a pretty good job of getting rid of that smoky smell. Now, how much particulate matter was being filtered out, who knows? But I just thought it was an interesting application for the climate control that I did not think of. So speaking of fires and smoke, and of course, you know, out west, it's a constant battle with wildfires. There was a couple fires north of Flagstaff where I was and I found that out via a couple of good tools that I'm going to share with you now. So the first one is a website. It's called the Fire and Smoke Map. I'll put up the URL here as well. That does a good job of showing not only fires but the drifting smoke. So I find that one very useful. I keep a tab open to that one. The other one is an app that I downloaded called Firespot. So let's take a look here. And that does a good job of showing the affected areas. So anyway, just a short story from last night thought I'd share while it's still fresh in my mind. Again, the Sienna's climate control comes in handy, um, not only for heat and humidity, but also air quality. So if you have any thoughts on that or whatever, let me know down below. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you down the line.